What is going on, everybody? I hope everyone's doing okay. It's a beautiful, beautiful 10.30 in the morning here in Canada. It's a Thursday. Two more days until the weekend, and I thought I'd do a special little unboxing for you cute little people out there. We have a massive gaming phone on the table. It's the Lenovo Legion Dual. Some of you might know this in Asia as the Lenovo Legion Pro, but we're now getting in the North American market, and it packs a ton, a ton of specs. So for those of you unfamiliar with gaming devices, these are Android smartphones that are geared towards users who love to mobile game. Now in North America, Xbox, PS4, and, and, and your gaming PC is the most popular thing to game with. But in the Asian market, mobile gaming is massive. Like if you go on to YouTube gaming right now, most of the biggest gamers out there are actually mobile gamers. So what's up chat, what's up Discord, what's up all the peeps in, in, in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining me on another live stream. This is the Legion Pro, we're gonna unbox it, so let's get started. Now, this is some serious packaging. I've already kind of opened up the device just to get things ready to, to make this uh, unboxing as smooth as possible, but this is the coolest thing. Listen carefully, listen. Quiet, wrong bin, Python, please, quiet, you ready? Here we go. Did you guys hear that? Let me, let, me, let me bring it a little bit closer to the microphone for you, okay? Just a little bit closer, hold on. I'm gonna do it again. This box has speakers built into it. Let's see if I can do it well. See, 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 that's not the phone. That's the actual box, which is pretty amazing. I mean, like, you know, it's, it's not why you buy the device, but it adds a little bit more of enjoyment while you're unboxing the phone overall, because most boxes are kind of boring. This gets you going. This is like a little caffeine kick to the nuts, okay? So we have the phone here, which I'm gonna put to the side. Lots of paperwork. Comes with a little plastic case that you can pre-install on the back of the device to protect it. You can't use anything too crazy, which I'll explain later why. The case has to be very, very simplistic. We have a dongle, USB Type-C to the to audio jack. It's something you don't see in a lot of smartphones anymore. They're including this with their device because at the end of the day, this is a gaming phone and a lot of you are gonna be using your headphones connected to it. So they wanna make sure you have it covered in order to play that gaming experience. We have one USB Type-C cable. Okay, this is a thick one. And we have a second USB Type-C cable. Now you're probably wondering why there are two USB Type-C cables in the box. Like what are these people doing? Are they just trying to waste material? But there's a reason why they're including two, which we'll get to in a second. And finally, you have this thick Lenovo branded charging brick. And I'll tell you why it's this thick. That's what she said. Actually, that was a terrible example of that's what she said. I take that back. I'm actually kind of curious where the speakers are. Okay, let, you know what? Do you guys want me to take this box apart to find the speakers? I think I'm gonna take the box apart to, to, to find out where these speakers are coming from. I wanna, I, wa I wanna know. I wanna know. I mean, they're probably like dollar store speakers that you can just buy for anything, but I'm kinda curious where the speakers are coming from. Let's do it again. Okay, let's see if I do it from this side if it, if it makes the noise. Okay, so it's only activated when you're opening up this flap. I can beatbox to this. Okay, enough of that. Let's let, let's cut it open. All right, we're doing a little chopping here. Let's go. Little samurai knife. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. All right. Well, that didn't work. There's no speakers here. Okay, it's, the speakers are in here somewhere, so we gotta remove this part of the box to see these speakers. This is called savagery. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. Aha! Bam! There it is. Unboxing the box. This is this looks like an eyeball. Okay, so it looks looks like over here we have the little red cable that activates the speaker once you open up the box, and then this is a 4,000 watt, 50 inch speaker. I'm actually gonna take this speaker and replace my Sonos with it. Now, if you want the speaker, I'll send it to you. Okay, I'll send it to you. Maybe we'll do a contest for the speaker in the Lenovo Legion Dual Box. Okay, this is, this is, this is huge. We'll do a contest for it. All right. Let's get back to the device. So here it is, in all of its glory. Can I need a moment of silence while I unwrap the plastic? Ah, gorgeous. Now this device is blazing blue, but I also believe it comes in a red color as well. And the reason why this phone is called the Dual is because it has a lot of dual characteristics. like two batteries, for example. It has more than two cameras. It has uh, two USB ports. So we have one USB type C port. This one by the, the power connector is actually USB type C port number one. It's actually labeled number one. And then you have another USB type C port on the bottom of the device. The idea behind it is that you can connect, let's say your headphones to it using one USB type C port. And then you have another USB type C port that you can connect to, let's say a controller. Maybe you want to connect it to a monitor so you have a bigger screen. Another way to stream, stream the content that you're doing on the device. But the other reason, the most important reason, the why they have these two USB type C ports is so that they can charge the phone faster. There is actually two 2,500 watt batteries inside of here. Two of them. So in theory, when you put this or you connect it to a charger, you can get 50% of your battery life back in just 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Most smartphones to get 50% of your battery life left using one battery takes a solid 30 minutes. So 10 minutes, full charge, two 2,500 milliamp hour batteries, giving you a total of 5,000 milliamp hours. You also have two cameras on the back not the best positioning, 64 gigabytes, 64 gigabytes, a 64 megapixel camera, which is your standard wide lens. And then you have a 16 megapixel camera, which is your ultra wide lens. So this doesn't support telephoto zoom. And I can bet you in theory that this camera is probably not that great. Like it's probably just used to take a picture, to take regular everyday pictures. Like you're not gonna go out there and shoot low light photography with this. You're not gonna go out there and shoot the best selfies in the world. It's just there to be there, to say you have it, okay? Now the back of the phone does light up. I'm gonna turn the device on, which is on the right hand side of the device. There's a little power indicator here. And as soon as you turn it on, it starts to glow. Magic happens. Okay. Just out of curiosity, how many people in the comment section play games on their mobile device? Like how many people are hooked to playing mobile games on their device? I am super curious how many people actually buy gaming phones. Like is, is, is a gaming smartphone something you truly want, something you truly desire? Like I know in North America, they're not that popular. They're starting to become a little bit more popular, but they're not super popular. Okay, so now, we're logged into the device. We have this crazy circuitry looking wallpaper on the background. There's a Legion Wiki, which gives you an idea of what type of features come packed into this device. Let's take a quick look. So you have Y triggers, selfie for streams, just a little quick way to get going. You have stereo, stereo dual speakers. Actually, you know what? Let's do a speaker test. That's the first thing we should do. So let's turn on light mode here. And we're gonna go do a little little test here. Um, I guess I'll just go to SoundCloud. All 
So, I mean, I don't know how, like I've never met a person personally who owns a gaming phone. Like most people that I know just use their regular phones to game on, but there might be a market for this. Maybe, I think it's more specific to Asia. So that's why you don't see like a lot of gaming phones coming to Canada, except for like the Asus ROG, this one now, and maybe, uh, what's the other one? The, the Nubia one, but it's not a popular device. Let's, let, let's get a sound test going on. We're gonna compare it to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna blast it to full blast. Okay, now we're gonna do it on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which also has dual speakers. So let's see which one sounds better. So like first impressions on the speakers of the, the Lenovo phone, they're, they're pretty good. They're clear, they're crispy, they have good, good uh, treble, but they're not super loud. So let's see how this one does. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so much better already. Okay, there's no comparison. The Note 20 Ultra sounds better. So I think if you're gonna be buying a gaming phone, the, the three things that I feel like are the most important thing is gonna be performance. So it needs to have like the latest, uh, it needs to have like the, the, the latest Snapdragon chip. It needs to have the best sound. And most importantly, it needs to have that high refresh display. Now, since we're on the topic of displays, this one here is not gonna be QHD. It's, it's gonna be a 1080p AMOLED display but it's a whopping 144 hertz. Now, are there a lot of games that take advantage of 144 hertz? Can you push those frame rates? Sort of. Not a lot of games can take advantage of it. Some can. I don't think we're there yet for most games that are currently on these devices. I also think it's kind of wasted because in the future, a lot of people are actually going to be using services like Google Stadia and Project X Cloud or Xbox's uh, streaming platform. And usually those are capped. Like they'll be capped based on the type of equipment or, 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 or servers with GPUs that they have in their data center. So they might be 60 Hertz, 60 FPS for a while, maybe eventually get bumped up to 120. So I don't think 144 Hertz is, is, is super important right now. I think as long as you have 90, 120, you'll be okay for the foreseeable future. Okay. Now the other dual, the other dual thing about this phone is, uh, did I just say foam? Phone, nah, is the camera. Now this front facing camera is different. It's unique because it flips out from the top of the screen. So watch this, okay? Watch this closely, okay? Closed open. And this kind of makes sense because if you're gaming and you're streaming directly from your device, having a display, actually, I wonder if I can connect this, if you can see this properly. Hold on. Let's see if I can connect this and you guys can get a better look. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's say you're doing, um, okay. Kind of works. Kind of, ah, oh, that's, that doesn't really work too well, does it? Okay. Anyways, um, the, this is what the camera looks like. I don't think I can flip it this way. Nah, it's not gonna make a difference. Anyways, um, imagine you're streaming, you're, you're, you're playing video games, okay? And in, instead of having the camera over here, which is gonna give you an awkward angle, you have a horizontal camera. So when, you're, when it's staring directly at you, you actually have a proper display of your face, which is kind of unique. And this makes a lot of sense if you're gaming and streaming at the same time. 
You know what I mean? It also is kind of cool because like when you're holding the phone to take a selfie with people in it, it makes more sense. Like you have a wider field of view because on the horizontal, it just makes holding the phone easier. Do you know what I mean? Like holding the phone like this to take a selfie feels a lot more natural to me at least than, than holding the phone like this. Do you know what I mean? Like this instead of like this. I mean, it's gonna suck if you're posting like an Instagram story because it's horizontal, but if you just wanna like take a picture, let me see if I can snap a photo and I'll show you guys on the screen here. So this is what the front facing camera looks like. Give you guys an idea. All right, load up, come on, load up. Oh, you use USB one. Okay. So if you, if you ever want to connect to your computer, you have to use the USB one port in order to connect the screen. So that's what, um, the, the, the picture looks like. Oh my God. Wow. Let's take another one. And you can also still use it like this. If you put it sideways, it's just, you know, what? A, oh my God. Look at that motion smoothing. Holy smokes. Look at that motion, not motion smoothing. Look at that face smoothening, the beauty mode, the beauty mode on the, this is what, this is what you're going to see tonight when you go to sleep. All right. This is what you're going to see tonight when you go to sleep, this face. Okay. I just gave you guys all nightmares. You guys are going to be anyways. Okay. So there's a ton of beauty mode going on here just to give you guys an idea. Like that's a lot of smoothening. It's a little too much for my taste. Yeah, the photo's terrible. But like I said, this is a gaming phone, right? So, I mean, I don't think cameras were, were uh, Legion's priority over here. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it was their priority. What else can I, okay, so this is what the, the front screen looks like. You also have a bunch of specific uh, theming going on with the phone. It's very game, has that gaming vibe. It comes pre-installed with a Legion Realm. I'm not exactly, okay, so this allows you quick access to your games. All right, so I got some games installed already. It gives you uh, an update of how hot or how fast your CPU and GPUs performing at the top hand, left hand side. And it tells you that the display is running at 144 Hertz gaming display. I like the fact that the USB type C cables on the side because it doesn't get in the way while I'm streaming, like it's on the bottom. So it's not sticking out of the side of the phone. Okay. Let's go back to the main menu for a second. Now this is an AMOLED panel, which I've already mentioned. You also have the ability, you have Android 10.0. Okay. So you can custom this, what the theming looks like in the menus. I'm trying to think what else I need to tell you guys. Before, before I wrap this up, before I start doing a little gaming on this. Um, yeah, so there's no wireless charging. So if you wanted to wirelessly charge this device, you, you, you can't do it. You, you need to only use a physical charger because uh, of the two batteries, the way this thing is set up. Now the display size is 6.65 inches, which is more than capable to game. It's also using a Snapdragon 865 plus. So it's the latest snap Snapdragon Qualcomm chip from, from the latest Snapdragon from Qualcomm. So you're going to have the best specs in terms of that. Now the base model comes with 12 gigabytes of Ram, 12 gigabytes with 256 gigabytes of storage. So you have a lot of space right off the bat. And if that's not enough space for you, you can upgrade to the more beefier model, which has 16 gigabytes of Ram and uh, 512 gigabytes of storage. Now, the unfortunate part is that there's no, there's no micro SD card slot. So if you wanted to, to upgrade this with more storage down the road, you don't have that ability. But I feel like if you're gaming, you're probably gonna have a few hardcore games installed and you're probably gonna be using a lot of streaming services in the future, like Project X Cloud and Google Stadia. So most of you are probably not gonna need that micro SD card slot for extra storage, unless you're like a maniac and, and storing your, your, your library of music, your folklore music, Python listens to, listens to a lot of it. So, I mean, that just depends on the situation. 
but I think 256 or 512 gigabytes is more than plenty. Now, most importantly, I think we should game. I think we should game and see how well this phone can handle it. So let, let's do that. So I got an Xbox controller here. Now the way this is set, okay, so here's an instance of how this cable is gonna work. I'm gonna plug it in like, how's this gonna, how's this gonna hold up? Oh man, this is gonna be weird. I have to hold it like this? No. How am I gonna be able to do this? Oh, this is kind of awkward. This is kind of awkward. Maybe if I hold the phone this way. No, nope, I don't think it's gonna make a difference. Cause then the camera gets blocked. So we're gonna have to put the phone like this. Okay, whatever, let's try. This is gonna be interesting. Okay. Oh man, this is so awkward. Okay. This is so, so awkward. Wow. Okay, so maybe this is not the best way to stream. Like if you were to stream and wanted to use a physical cable, this is what it's gonna look like if you're using a controller. I don't know if that's too intuitive. Like I could put it, ugh, man, I don't know. Let's see if I can move it over a little bit. Hold on, let's see. I don't know, it's kind of awkward. I mean, you could do it. It's just super awkward. Okay, hold on. Okay. Ah, popped out. Okay, this is the best it's gonna get. All right, let me throw it on um, the external monitor. Let's get some games going. Let's get some games going here. Um, what, what game do you want to test first? We can do Fortnite or do you guys want to do, so you, so that's the thing. You can't change the port. The only port that allows you. Okay. So someone's asking, why don't you just change the port, Matt? Dummy, huh? Once you learn how to review a product. Well, you can't. The only port that shows, uh, that, that handles USB type C is the top port right here. You can't physically use the other port to show the HDMI monitor. Like this port down here is basically only used for charging. That's it, charging, nothing else. If you wanna stream or connect any devices to it, you have to use the top port because the other one will be able to handle it. And I'll show you guys right now. So I'm gonna plug it into the bottom one, okay? And we're gonna go into the external monitor. See, look. Oh, you just missed it. Hold on. I'm going to show you guys again. Come on, show me. All right, here it is. Look, see that? Please try using USB one to link the DP device. So you have to use the middle one in order to show the display. So when you're using a controller, it's kind of awkward. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try placing it back on so I can show you guys. Now, obviously you can screen mirror this wirelessly, but being wired and connected is always, always so much more preferred. Okay, let's do a little, let's do a little Call of Duty. Okay, we're gonna do a little Call of Duty here. So let's plug this guy in. Let's see how far I can go. All right, let's go. This is so awkward right now, the way I'm playing. Give you guys a little taste of Call of Duty. Uh, just out of curiosity, can you guys hear the Call of Duty sound? I don't know if you guys can. It's probably something I didn't think of. Does Call of Duty support controllers? Like, I don't know if it does. Oh, I don't think it does. Oh, hold on, let's tap this, let's, let's turn it on. Well, the problem is, Darsh, if you keep the wire on top, then you're blocking the front facing camera. So I guess for this type of situation, it would be okay. But if I wanted to stream my mug at the same time, then I would have to, uh, I'd have to leave it like this. So if you're not streaming, that works. It's a, it's a better idea. But if you are streaming, then you have to put the cable on the bottom so that the top camera can pop out. Now, why is this not connecting? Let's go into uh, Bluetooth here. Bluetooth, we want to connect the Xbox controller. There we go. Come on, connect. It says connected. It's glitching. 
Let's see what happens now. Come on. You can do it. All right, let's forget this device. We're going to connect this. Yeah, so Jen made a good point. This is a phone that has the same um, refresh rate as a laptop, which is pretty impressive if you think about it. Like, you know, phones getting these high refresh rates, at the end of the day, once these like services become very popular, you know, they're obviously going to start supporting higher refresh displays on smartphones. I know some games you can already take advantage of it, but like once Project X Cloud and Google Stadia becomes more and more popular and there's more investment made into the infrastructure, you're gonna see a lot of people just using their smartphones to take advantage of these services. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, YouTube Gaming has a huge, huge, market of mobile gamers like it's really popular especially in the asian market it's like really massive down there now what's happening here why is this not connecting let's try this again come on show me some love Looks like we're having some technical difficulties connecting the phone to the xbox wireless controller too i had it connected earlier let me try turning it off and turning it back on. Hey man, you know what? There's nothing wrong with eight gigabytes of RAM and there's nothing wrong with 60 Hertz. It's just, it makes you a better gamer. You know, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give yourself the handicap when you're playing games so that when you do get the 144 Hertz display and the uh, 9 million gigabytes of RAM, you're a professional. All right, let me turn this thing off and on again because this, this should be working perfectly. So quick question, can you, can you use controller for Call of Duty Mobile or can you not use a controller? I will not play without a controller. It's not happening. Okay, here we go. Connect, pairing. All right, here we go. Allow access. This Xbox controller is gonna steal all my contacts based on what I saw. Okay, here we go. Now, how do I go? Let's go. Can we can we play the game here? Let's, let's jump in. Let's jump in to Call of Duty. I don't know if you can use a controller for it, but let's see. I don't think you can. Nope, you can't. Okay, I guess I'm playing, uh, I guess I'm playing, uh, oh, wow. I mean, this does feel really smooth. Oh my God, I'm a terrible mobile gamer. All right, how do I fire on this? Can you guys hear audio from the game? Oh my God, I'm so bad. Tap to reload. Let's see. Okay, so if I want to move. Kill enemies with simple fire. Okay, tap. Okay, that's simple fire. All right, gotcha. Oh, that's easy. Ah, okay, we gotta aim. Cool, so that, that allows me to ADS. Oh, these guys are so dead. Oh, you cannot hear the, the sound from this? Okay, hold on. Let's, let's get you guys some sound. Let's get you guys some sound. Use custom audio device, no. Hold on guys, hang in there. We're gonna get you some sound. One second. Oh man, which one is it? Is it this one? I don't think that's it. Man, no sound. Okay, hold on guys. We're gonna get you some sound. Settings, advanced audio properties. Come on, let's go. Active. Okay, I don't know what's going on with sound. This is really frustrating. Oh, you know what? I'd be, ugh, hold on a second guys. So are we good now? Custom layout. Tap to return to game. 
Still nothing. God damn it. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. All right, so it looks like we're shooting this guy. This guy's dead. I mean, this does feel smooth. This is definitely not playing at 60 hertz. Like, I feel like this is playing at least 120. Okay, so you can snipe like that. Go down here. Oh my God, this is terrible. How do people play on mobile? Man, can we get some more controllers, please? Kill, adjust, controlling, kill all of them. Wow. Boom, dead. Turn the volume up on my mobile, let's see. Still nothing. Let's try that. Ah, there we go. Now we got it, baby. All right, we're good, we're good. Here we go. Okay, continue. We're back in business. So there are side trigger buttons apparently somewhere. I don't know where they are, but tap to continue. Well done. All right, here we go. Now we got some volume. Go to settings and scroll right, see on controller, enable controller. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Let's go. Tap to store, I don't wanna go to store here. Make, just, just let me play. Come on. I don't need this. All right. Oh my god. I feel like a, I feel like a, a boomer right now. Maybe because I am. Continue. Where settings? I'm like nine years old here. Link to social accounts. Okay. Yeah. Loadout. I get it. I don't want to do a loadout right now. This is not Warzone. Okay. You're out of here. Next game. Let's do, uh, let's do Fortnite, okay? So I think when that thing comes up, it lets you know that you're in 144 Hertz mode and that you're paired in stereo. I only do Warzone. Okay, so, I mean, look, I would have to be a hardcore mobile gamer to wanna buy a gaming phone. Because at the end of the day, I feel like this screen on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is bigger, brighter, and better, and it has 120 hertz already. So I don't know like why I'd wanna buy this. Like I feel like, I don't know. Okay, here we go, change. We're gonna do solos, accept. Yeah, okay, here we go, play, confirm. What? Ah, <sighs> developers, where is it? General settings, no, that's not it. Where are we here? Developers, what did it say? <laughs> yeah, technically it's cheaper. It is cheaper, you're absolutely right. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean like, you're losing a lot of those phone features that people like, you know, the better camera. Um, I guess at the end of the day, it's just a better camera, you know? But like like I showed you guys earlier in the video, like the Note 20 Ultra has much better speakers. And you figure if this is a gaming phone, you'd want better speakers, unless you're a hardcore gamer who uses their mobile phone with a headset. Then maybe you don't care about speakers? I don't know. So what game do you want me to play, Ronnie? Okay, what do I gotta do here? Play. Enable to turn Fortnite while USB debugging is active. Please disable developer mode and restart Fortnite. Oh, I gotta disable developer mode? Come on, man. Where is that? Okay, forget it. We're going to the next game. PUBG. Where's PUBG? Let's do it.
Fortnite Mobile does suck. I agree with you, buddy. So what are the most popular games right now on mobile? I'm guessing PUBG is probably still really popular just on mobile. I can't see anything else being super, I mean, I can't see, I mean, PUBG is not popular on PC anymore, but I imagine PUBG is super popular on mobile. Probably same thing to do with Call of Duty Mobile. I can I can imagine Roblox. Enemies ahead. Ah, oh, where's my controller? Can you not use controller in PUBG yet? Controls. Are you serious? You can't use controller in PUBG. Wow. What is this ghetto ness? This is ridiculous. How can you not use controller in PUBG? All right, whatever. Yo, put some clothes on, lady. This, this is this is this is a family channel, and you're running around naked like this, huh? Huh? Come here. Like seriously, there's there's three year olds watching this video right now. Invites you to jump together. All right, buddy, let's jump together. Change graphics to HDR Extreme. Okay, let's do that. Let's go uh, HDR Extreme. Okay, apply. Now, how do I change frame rate? Here we go. Oh man, it's been so long since I played PUBG. I used to love this game. Absolutely love this game. Graphics. Yeah, we're good. We're, we're, we're all uh, we're all high here. Sensitivity, effect settings. Ah, oh, Apex Mobile would be so good. Like that's a game I'd play on mobile. If it's if it's done properly. Do you know what I mean? Like that would be that would be awesome. Okay, we're jumping down here. So I think this would be a good time to let you guys know that I do have a gaming channel. It's on Twitch. It's twitch.tv um, front slash Matt Bonus. And uh, we game every second night. We mostly play Call of Duty Warzone. We've been playing a lot of Fallout, guys. Fallout, guys. I mean, Fall Guys. Um, I, I, this is ridiculous. Mobile games is ridiculous. I'm sorry. This should not be a thing. What is this? I'm just gonna stare at a wall. Okay. So anyways, this is what the game looks like at HDR Extreme. It seems like the phone is handling it okay. I mean, this is definitely not running at 100... What's this? Get out of here. Again, this is what you get for not wearing clothes. Like, what do you think this is? Done. Look, I'm a beast. I'm not even trying here. Let's, let's pick it up. How do I open this? There we go. There we go. Let's get all this stuff. Got a gun. Oh, we're laughing now. Let's do this guy. Load. Let's go. Oh, I'm getting shot. Who wants a piece of me? Where you were? Where you were? Oh, there you go. No. Not, not even a chance. Not even a chance. Like, what do you think this is? Minecraft? This guy's clearly been playing on a MacBook Air. And just came from uh, Minecraft. He just built a little fort and started playing PUBG. Wow. Search for vehicles. Alright, come on. Let's get in the house. Some gasoline. This is intense. Okay, so anyway, anyways, it's playing. It's definitely not playing 144 hertz. I'd say right now we're probably playing at like 60 on on extreme. Like if you want to take advantage of the higher refresh rate, you're definitely gonna have to drop down the graphical settings. But this goes for any high-end phone right now. 
Like, you, you really are going to have to reduce the settings. You know? Oh my god, this is terrible. I need to, I need my mouse and keyboard. Oh, that guy's dying. Is that guy my team? Yeah, he's on my team. Never mind. He's lucky. There has to be somebody else. I'm going to go to these houses over here. I don't want to go. Okay, let's get in the car with this guy. How do I get in? How do I get in? Just tap on the car? Nope. Oh man, this is pathetic. This is pathetic. How do I get in? Wow. Nope. Nope. Let me in. Nope. What? Mark the location. How do I get in? How do I get in? Let me in the car. This is pathetic. Get in the car. You gotta be kidding me. This game was designed for two year olds. Okay, I've had enough of this. I've had enough. I've had enough. All right, guys, so I mean, I mean, this is it. Don't honk at me. Don't you dare. Anyways, so that is the Lenovo Legion um, gaming phone. It's the Leno Lenovo Legion Dual smartphone. I don't know. How, I, I'll put the price down in the description down below. And um, if you guys are interested in checking it out, you can do that. It's cool. I like the idea of gaming phones. I, I don't think, you know, a lot of you out there who are looking at new phones should jump into a gaming phone unless you're absolutely sure that you want one because um, you are going to be losing out on camera. You are going to be losing out on a smaller device. You are going to be losing out on those QHD displays, depending if you spend the money to buy a more expensive one. It is a thicker device, which is something to take into consideration. But if you truly enjoy mobile gaming and you want every sort of edge you can kind of get, then there is a case for mobile well, phones associated with mobile gaming, especially if you're in the Asian market and you want to be the next... I don't know who's a popular mobile gaming streamer on YouTube, but there's a huge market for it. And there's probably a lot of games that I'd even try out that would, would make this phone worth it. But yeah, it's a nice phone. It's a cool phone. It's different, you know? There, there's no reason why every phone should be like glass, um, premium looking. Like there should be some gaming phones. And it all comes down to your need. All right, so I'm going to wrap this video up. But before I do, I'm going to take any of your questions in the comment section. So feel free to shoot them out. Um, yes, I did wear a different shirt. This is my second shirt. I have two shirts. Yeah, so Praver makes a good point. He says, um, the problem with gaming phones is their only distinctive feature is the refresh rate, but other flagships are getting them. And he's absolutely right. Like I've, I've shown you guys, the speakers, the display is better on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I mean, there are some cool optimizations to this device that, wow, look at this, look at that hair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my hair like this. Oh, you just missed it. Ugh, oh, it's gone. Never mind. Anyways. There are some features like, you know, the dual speakers paired with the horizontal camera, which make it an interesting device. But I think at the end of the day, most people who are streaming from their mobile phones are not doing it directly from the device. They're probably connecting it via HDMI and they probably have like a separate webcam if they're doing it professionally. But I think if you're just starting off, this will make it easier for you. So you don't have to buy that extra equipment. But again, it's like, it's little things, you know, you have to be like really hardcore into mobile gaming to appreciate this kind of setup. Yeah, so the, the Legion logo on the back is, the Legion logo on the back does have a RGB color. It lights up, so you can see it flashing right now, which is kind of cool. I'm sure this does reduce your battery life about one to 2%, depending how often you're using your device or if you have it on. IP rating, this is not, IP68. It can take a couple of splashes, but this does not have um, IP68 waterproof. Asus or Legion phone, which one would I pick? Honestly, I haven't reviewed the Asus ROG, so I really can't comment on it. Uh, 
Yeah, so another person makes a good, good point. There are currently no games that support 120 hertz on mobile worth playing. I mean, you can do it with Fortnite, but I mean, most games don't support 120 hertz. We're not there yet. So the UI is, it's basically a heavy theme. So the UI on this device is, you know, Android 10. You have some of the standard stuff that you're used to seeing. Like when you swipe to the right, you can get Google Now. The icons have this like chiseled look, which is very different. You swipe up from the bottom to get to your app drawer. There's some Legion settings in here that you can take advantage of in order to uh, make it more gaming. Like give it, like there's kind of like a, optimization center uh, of, of stuff that apply to the games you're playing. I have no idea what games these are, but they're maybe they're good in, in, in Asia. But it obviously takes into account some of the games I played already. Now, if I push this, it'll give me a bunch of shortcuts. I can increase the CPU frequency to ensure high performance. This probably comes at the expense of, of making your device a bit hotter. There's like a network boost function, which will Increase the speed of your connection, apparently. I don't know if that actually works, but maybe it does help with latency. Back recording. So you can record the back of the device. Like you can, rec you can use the two back cameras to record while you're gaming as well, which is kind of neat. Okay, so this is interesting. There are, okay, I didn't, I didn't even show you guys this. So there are Y triggers. These two flashing lights at the top are triggers. So if you're playing, you can use these to tap instead of pressing on the screen. So you have those two Y triggers at the top. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but this is kind of glowing over here. And those will be your Y triggers. Besides that, you have all the standard stuff in your UI, like you can jump into the settings and you can change things like dark mode or light mode or anything like that. Does it have the karate chop mode? Let's see. It does. The karate chop mode is there. So for those of you that want to take advantage of uh, those uh, Motorola features, watch. So karate chop once, light on, karate chop twice again, lights off. So yeah, this is technically, uh, it's a Lenovo phone because Lenovo bought Motorola, but it does have a lot of those Motorola gestures baked inside like the karate chop to turn on the flashlight. Can I review Stadia in future? I mean, if it gets an update and has more games for it, I'd be happy to revisit it. I actually never reviewed it at all. The 765 is enough for, for light gaming. It's not like a super powerful chip, but you can totally game with it. It's a pretty heavy phone. Like I have a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra here and it probably feels, it's, it's heavier. Like you have to remember, this is a six point, this is a 6.9 inch device. This one is 6.65, but the Note 20 Ultra feels a bit heavier. Like here's the difference in size. The Note 20 Ultra is still technically, actually, is it taller? I don't know. Let's put, let's put them side by side. Let's, let's get involved here. All right, hold on. Yeah, even though the Note 20 Ultra has a bigger display, it's a, it's like, a tiny bit smaller in length than the Legion Duel. In terms of width, it's also smaller. That's crazy, that's crazy. At the end of the day, this is a smaller footprint, but you do have to remember though, they are packing two batteries inside of here. They're packing two cameras on the back. They're packing two USB type C ports so you can charge those batteries faster. Those batteries are, are, are split into two, 2,500 milliamp hours each. So even if you're gaming, you can charge one of the batteries while you're gaming and instead of both. But if you do decide to charge both at the same time, you could charge this device to 50% in just 10 minutes, which I think is super impressive. Okay, I think that's it. I think you guys have run out of questions about this device. So did you guys, so be honest with me, did you guys enjoy this live stream? Like, do you wanna see more live unboxings like this in the future? Because if you do, 
I will make these even better for you. I'll, I'll make them more professional. I'll, I'll, I'll make it a thing if you guys want more live streams. So if you do want more live streams, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button. I'm, I, I kind of, that, was, that, that, was, that was kind of, kind of shameful promotion, but let me know in the comment section down below if you want more live streams. Hit the like button. We're gonna do a lot more, okay? We're gonna do a lot more of these because I find them fun and it's a good way of me to interact with you guys. So everyone is saying yes, except for Rongbin, but Rongbin's just trolling. Okay, more live streams coming in the future. I actually have another one planned next week. We're gonna do a little bit of a laptop comparison live and we're gonna make it super professional, okay? I'm gonna have graphs, there's gonna be laser beams with sharks, okay? There's gonna be romance, there's gonna be passion, there's gonna be speed. It's, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. So yes, drop a comment, let me know how you feel about these live streams. If you wanna catch me on Twitch every second night where I game, I play Call of Duty Warzone, I, I talk tech, I hang out with you guys, there'll be a link to that in the description down below. Please, j just tell the mods thank you for dealing with all the spam, Python, Danny, Rongbin, um, all you guys. Thank you so much for, for taking the time today and, and moderating the forum. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and there'll be a brand new video coming out tomorrow on a laptop. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.